Hey everyone, it's Personally Button and I'm back with a new video. As you can see, I've got a window for Unity open. Uh, this is just the start window. And we'll be doing some tutorials. For this series, I'm going to be making a bullet hell game. A little bit like the Toho series. And I hope that you guys will enjoy. These aren't going to be... Um, these tutorials are going to be a bit more casual. They're not going to be as serious as some other tutorials that you might find. Um, basically what I've done is I've just followed a couple of tutorials off the Blender website, uh, sorry, off the Unity website and just looked into a couple of different things that I can do and I figured, you know what, I think I've got everything that I need here, let me try and make a game, let me just try to jump into this so then I can, you know, expand as, uh, in, in terms of these skills instead of just following people's tutorials and not actually understanding how the system works. So what we're going to do to begin with is just go into, uh, see here, uh, just hover over that, click on it, and this will open a location where we can set where we want our new project to be and the name of our project. Um, nothing too fancy here, just call it bullets, and I'm just going to save it in my area. I'm not going to import any assets packages because I'm not really looking at that yet. Maybe when we get into uh, more of the pretty stuff later, I'll be looking into that. But right now, I'm just looking at setting up the basic game, all the components and that kind of stuff. So we're just going to create the project. Okay, so a quick um, beginner's lesson or like a bit of a freshers. Uh, this is the Unity uh, game creator engine thing. So basically, this is Unity. Uh, this is what it consists of mainly probably a lot more stuff that I haven't seen because I've sort of just jumped into this but this is um, what we're going to be working with now you might realize that your layout's a little different to mine and if you want a layout like mine where you can sort of see all of the game area what you're going to want to do is you want to go to layout you're going to go to 2 by 3 and then what I did is I took this tab right here I held down on the left mouse I just dragged it up to this scene view and that allows me just to see what's going on and uh, in the game view and the scene view without you know having it squashed down here as you saw a second ago uh, just a couple of things this is the hierarchy this is where we get to see what objects are in our game so right now this is uh, the main camera in the game I don't know why it's overlapping like that um, hang on, there we go, just give that, okay, so, um, so this is the main camera, this is basically our site, this is our perspective as the gamer, well, the perspective of the gamer when we actually create the game, and this is just the directional light, it lights up the whole scene, I don't think there's a specific place that it comes from, but it is a light, it basically says light is going to act from this direction in a way if that makes any sense but um, anyway let's go into file and we're gonna go into build settings reason why we're gonna go into here is just to make sure that we're building for the right platform which I want to be a web player for this game because uh, I don't know it's a nice way just to sort of show that you can do this there's a bunch of other things that you can build for you can uh, build for the more popular Blackberry or um, yeah or the, or the PS oh actually the PS Vita is pretty relevant anyway um, so I'm going to switch platform so, so as you see I've highlighted this and I'm going to press switch platform and what that's uh, done is just made this you know compatible with a web player yeah I'm gonna go into the player settings menu and as you can see here in the inspector the player settings have been open uh, quick little thing I'm just gonna do right here is I'm gonna take this project thing and move that right down there because that makes the hierarchy bigger and I can work with a lot more space because this this uh, it doesn't need too much room okay so 
what do we want the length and the height of the thing to be? Well, let's see. How, how can we actually see that happening as we do it? So right now, um, I'm looking at uh, resolution and presentation. So resolution, default width, default height. Uh, we're not going to touch any of this stuff, mainly because I don't know what it does. But we are going to change how the screen, or well, how the player views everything. So what we're going to do is we're going to, that's the wrong thing, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the game menu right here, and we're going to click on this, and we're going to click on web, and you see it's got like the same resolution options here, so we're going to click on that. Now that's given us quite a wide screen, how about we flip that upside, well, flip that round, actually. Uh, by 960. That seems a little decent. Let's try to. Um, yeah, I think that's a good resolution that we that we're working with there. Basically, we've got a nice hallway kind of layout. Should work for us. Next thing I'm gonna do. Uh, so this is the view from the main camera. So this is actually how the uh, player will view things. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into scene view real quick. I'm going to go to the main camera and we're going to just select solid color for that because it makes uh, it just sort of gets rid of like the skybox kind of stuff. Not sure how I get rid of it here. Not sure. I. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah. And if you just want to get rid of the skybox there, that's uh, how you do that. Click on this little thing and you're good for that. Alright. Um, before our time runs over, because I was really hoping to make this a nice short video, let's just see a couple of the things that we can do uh, with this camera. Now we can see that our camera is, you know, it's doing its job. It's 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 a team player. It's doing what it wants, but it's uh, it's making making contributions that we want. Uh, basically, what we're going to do now is we're going to reset the position of the camera. So now it's at origin. Oh no, I can't find my camera, just ignore that, you could see it in the thing. Um, if I want to find an object, what I do is I press F while my uh, pointer is in the scene view. And I'll just be taken over to it, then I can scroll in, out. Um, a lot of these motions that you'll see me doing, uh, they're gonna, if you're new you won't know what they are. Uh, they're basically these motions, but to save you time from having to click there, 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 uh, I'm just going to tell you. So if I want to look around like this, I uh, I right click, I hold down on um, the right mouse click thing, and um, if I want to drag around, you know, drag around the scene view, I hold in the middle mouse, and if I want to drag an option, uh, an object, I click on it with the uh, left click. Yeah, I left click on it. And then just drag it around, um, same with these gizmos which allow you to just move things around. Um, not going to get too deep into things, ah, okay let's just talk about this, uh, this is how you change your perspective and stuff, I haven't really figured it out, I just like to freely mess around with stuff, but yeah it's, it's pretty helpful if you um, are working on something kind of complicated and you don't want to get lost and like upside down like left to right and stuff also you can select things in your scene view from the uh, hierarchy so if I click off of the main camera and then I just you know sort of uh, just wander this dim void uh, I can just click on the main camera uh, oh, click on the main camera and then in the thing just press F and I can get back to that so you know clicking on things in the hierarchy is helpful okay so what, what are we gonna do with this camera uh, first things first we're just gonna move it up and then uh, I think we're gonna move it up by a value of 12 because I like that number um, and then now what I did there is I changed the uh, transformation position on the Y axis so I moved it up by 12 as you saw I can use this to move it up by the Y axis this will move it along and this will move it this way 
Okay, this is X and this is Z. Uh, your Z axis. And this is your Y axis, up and down. Okay. So now, what are we going to do with the rotation of this thing? We're going to make it face down. And this is usually the part where I get things wrong. Let's see. Okay. Now, what I did there is just clicked in this box and typed 90. Same with here. I just clicked in this box and typed 12 to get that transformation. And now we've got a top-down view uh, in which we can place like a plane or uh, a quad or something just to be the background element, you know, the overall thing that the player is looking at. Um, be it you paint a hallway on there, slap, it, slap a couple of textures to make it look like something. Um, thing I like about Unity is there's a bunch of options, you know, you get creative with your games and then whatever you come out with, you come out with and hopefully it's not a stealing, steaming, steaming pile of garbage. But, I'm sure we're not going to make any steaming piles anytime soon. So that was the first part of our Bullets Unity tutorial. I'll be coming back about next week or in a couple of days whenever I can get the time to record and we'll be putting in a couple of elements and components, maybe a player, uh, model or something. Just maybe steal something off of the uh, assets uh, area. And just, you know, set up our game a little bit more so it's uh, more than just a camera and some directional lighting. Thank you for staying around. Thank you for watching the video. Uh, if you liked the video, please leave a like or comment about how much you liked it. And I will see you guys when I see you. Bye.